just me or does anyone else get easily distracted? Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. If you're new to the channel, my name's Taryn and I'm a photographer from the Lincolnshire area in the UK. And today I'm going to talk you through a few of the tips that helped me when I was starting out in photography. Tip number one is learn your gear inside out. This is still something that I do every time I get a new piece of equipment, whether it's a camera, a flash, audio equipment, anything, is watching other YouTubers, people who have used and reviewed the product, that have experience using that type of gear can help you find extra little tips and tricks that might help you with your new piece of equipment. When I upgraded to the Canon EOS R, I watched a YouTube video by Jared Polin, which was specific to my camera and showed you every function and every menu. And I thoroughly recommend doing the same whenever you pick up a new piece of gear. So that was tip number one, learn your gear. Okay, so tip number two is to get creative while you're out shooting. Look for unique angles, reflections, textures and situations that might make the composition a bit more interesting. Because composition is key. <laughs> All right, tip number three, camera modes. If you're not quite ready to go fully manual just yet, using modes such as aperture or shutter priority can really help you on your journey from auto to fully manual. In this video, I'm not gonna delve into the features of these settings. However, if you'd like to see me explain these in more detail, leave it in the comments below and maybe I can make a future video for you. Okay, so tip number four is to use the high speed continuous shutter function. I found that using the continuous shutter helped me a lot to not miss the shot. For example, a few months ago, I was asked to shoot for a local football team and I found that using the continuous a shutter help me to capture more of the moments and not miss the important shot. So tip number five is to move any unwanted elements out of your frame before you take the shot. Anything that's going to ruin your image that can be removed, bins, dog baskets, water bottles, remove it. We all say I'll oh, leave it there and I'll remove it in post, but it's not always that easy and it can be very time consuming. Remove it. Tip number six is rehearsal shoots. If you're feeling nervous about an upcoming shoot, maybe consider going out with friends or family to do a rehearsal shoot a few days prior. This might help you to gain a little bit of confidence and also to scout locations. Tip number seven, the last tip of today's video, get out there and practice. But most importantly, have fun while you're doing it. Go out, get creative. The more that you shoot, the easier it'll get, the more you'll know about your camera and how to get the pictures that you want. So that's it for today, guys. That's my seven beginner photography tips. If you liked today's video or you found any of the tips helpful, then like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one.